Hello, Glitch Reaper here again. Uh, I may have had to divide this up a bit, so this will be the second part of that. So I was going to say, I'm going to show off how this process actually works. And did somebody just walk into a fire? It's interesting. I don't see anybody getting hurt. Where'd they go? Stan Lee, is that you walking around again? Uh, that guy. Anyhow, as I was going to say, I need to do a lot of these things in order, so let me work on that. Mandrake root, nether wart, tier of the goddess, diamond vapor, an actual diamond, nether star, yeah this is like super expensive per brew so it's ridiculous. Uh, I can also just throw these out this way so let's see here. I'll need to do the uh, emerald after I set this up so uh, there's not like a time limit on this, so you can sort of take it slow and easy and make things operate a lot more smoothly. So I'm going to make this effect actually not empowered, because that emerald actually is a resizing thing. If it's low power, it shrinks. If it's high power, it it grows the target. Now I want to shrink a target, so this will be really funny if I get this to work. Okay, now I think... I think I, do I need to empower first? I think I need to empower first. Let me check my book. I sort of left my book over here for some reason. Let me check my book. As I said, it doesn't have like a time limit on it, or at least not as far as I know. Hmm. Got a little extra there. Uh, let me see here. Regular process. Yeah, it's always power before duration, so, okay. Gotta make sure, because I, I think it'll uh, not like it if that happens. So, let me go back there. Yeah, duration is always redstone and then obsidian. Then Maybe if you have something else, you can impa uh, you can make it last even longer, but I forget what that is, and I think it's not like an immediately available thing. It's like not, not like a vanilla ingredient, and I'm trying to conserve at least some of my witchery supplies for this. Okay, that's what I was going to do. Okay, so I need to empower before I extend. This is an effect I do want to empower. Mainly because it'll be sort of hilarious. Because this is also a special effect that's floating. Something you don't see in normal Minecraft. It's all in witchery. You still operating there? Brewing up by? I think. Okay. Okay, so the next one I also want to empower and extend. There's some, I'm not sure if this sometimes takes a while to brew or what. my altar isn't able to handle it. I'm not sure, because this is my weaker altar, it's not my big one. So, yeah, there's there's that as a consideration, I guess. See, the next one can't be empowered, it can only be extended. Because it basically operates to tenth skin of something, so... Uh, you can't really get more powerful than that. It's not like you're going to go up multiple shades of color just because you did it. <laughs> so logically, I I'm thinking that one can't be empowered. Or at least I don't think so. This effect, on the other hand, can be empowered. Okay, so that's that. Well, since I happen to have my, uh, gunpowder here. Let's see, can I click it this time? Uh, I think it needs to uh, power up, because some of these have like a power cost to them, so I think it needs to brew for a while. Or I can use my portable altar, that's a thought. Hmm, let me see, I don't have my 
thing on me right now. But I do have it over there, because I put it over here for storage. I never did figure out why I had one extra altar block. So you only need six, so... How in the world did I wind up with seven? I mean, that, that... Oh, by the way, I did in fact eventually find myself a, uh, an actual, well, nether fortress. So now I actually can get Wither Skeleton Skulls. And uh, you gotta admit, with a uh, high level of uh, looting on uh, the Ultimate Sword, that's really convenient. Maybe it has to be on a level closer to it, because maybe this, this has the vertical issue. Hmm, because I know I need to work this somehow. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to build off of here. And then maybe it'll make sure it's empowered, because I was pondering this. And I'm going, you know, there may be a reason why I'm having issues. A little too close there. No, I don't... Yeah, that gives, like, a ridiculous amount of power because that infinity egg... It's not ex why is this not accepting my pentacle? Does it have to go in a particular location? Well, either way, that special sparking is a good sign. Maybe that's just not lined up? Huh. Okay. I'm not gonna debate further. I'm just gonna take it. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And that's getting smashed with that whole thing there. Anyhow, resizing, floating three, weakness three, tinting red, and attract projectiles three. What that means is now my shots will be homing whether or not they normally would be. <laughs> I'll just go right for it, Now I'll have to pick up my altar a little later. I just wanted to get this to work. I had to store so much, because that's taking up so much space. Goodness sakes, it is expensive doing this. And, uh, might as well put this here, just in case. Okay, so, what you do is you put this in one of these slots. And, according to that, uh, witchery book I've gotten here about symbology, there's some very special spells you have to be mindful that control which slot you actually fire from. Uh, and these books, yeah, they sort of remember where you left off. Okay, I think this is the one I need for the upper slot. Uh, Kalem. Although you could, you might want to sort of think of special names for your custom spells anyhow, so yeah. See, so right, up, left, left, down, down. Okay. Right, up, left, left, down. I need to memorize these because I'm going to be using these to witch bosses later, so yeah. Oh, and that reminds me. How much redstone do I got in my redstone chest? Oh, I have plenty. Do I got a relay or two? I, ha I have some repeaters. See, dispensers. Okay, okay, I can totally do this. I need one dispenser for this trick. And, uh, let me see. Mm, that might do. Uh, because I want a long line of redstone on this. Well, let's say about three worth, just in case. Couple of repeaters. Uh, I guess I could use a pressure plate to activate it. I mean, I don't have anything in particular I'm going for here. Uh, I'm sort of parked outside on Wakanda, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, in case you're wondering what I'm up to... Yeah, this is going to be a live, quick redstone build. Uh, there's a little fact that... Uh, modders and uh, people working vanilla tend to forget, because it's usually meant for, like, custom maps, and did I actually... Yeah, I put up my angel tier. Oh, uh, I forgot about that. I forgot I'd be needing that. It's totally my fault. I put up so much... Well, actually, I need to take some of the stuff back now that I've sort of made room for it. Hmm. Still not sure why that's not positioning. Oh well. Okay, I could put these around here for now. I don't think I have to actually have that on my hotbar. I think I just need to have it in my inventory, but I'm not 100% certain, so just in case. 
Okay, I want my branch, obviously, because that's what I'm going to be using. This is just in case I need to do some serious witching. And, uh, yeah, this ought to be okay. Okay, uh, let's hope it's not too rainy outside. Uh, not that I don't like rain in Minecraft, actually. It's, uh, just, well, it's sort of getting in the way of the view. Hmm. Door? Yep. Okay, thank you, door. Uh, okay. That was a little weird. Uh, I want to get to the plains-like area that's like a savanna biome around here. Because I don't want to do what I'm going to do too terribly close. Oh, wait. I also need my spawn egg. I almost forgot about that part. But I remember it, so I'm good. It's a good thing I remember where I parked and I didn't go very far, so... Yeah. Okay. Uh, some of these times these super suits can be a little wild. I need to go to my special farm. Because I have Easter bunnies. They lay all... well, all sorts of spawn eggs. Uh, well, not officially everything. I mean, they won't, like, lay all the spawn eggs in your pack. What they'll actually do is they'll choose between uh, spawn eggs corresponding to vanilla and those corresponding to war spawn specifically, so they're not everywhere. Although the eggs are, like, flying everywhere, so there, there's that. Okay, let me just drop some of these off, not worrying too much. Now, which one did I have my hammerheads in? They're sort of what I'd like to witch. Why? No reason. Just... Okay, they're sort of a cool-looking enemy. I just thought it'd be really crazy if I witched them. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's see, that's some mobzillas, but I don't need those. I need the hammerheads. Hmm. Your hammer, hammer, hammerhead. That's sort of like a dull-looking egg or something. I sort of got to visually identify these sometimes. Hmm. There's an ostrich. Nope, not that. Hello. You know, coming over. Uh, I think I have enough peacock eggs. I, I'd rather not destroy my, my birds, but uh, it might come to that, because they're sort of overfilling the area. Wait, I now I remember. I had them with the thing that had a lot of my mobzilla spawn eggs, so if I find that one, I'll know where it is. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. Hammerheads. Uh, hmm. I'm not going to need too terribly many of these. You go that way. I would like to witch a couple of them. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and take them all. Uh, there's no reason not to. <laughs> Other than uh, making sure I don't accidentally trip this off. But I've got a big Bertha and stuff, so I can handle it. So yeah, yeah, it, it'll be good. Yeah, I'm not taking any of you troops out. I'm doing something else that's important. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the thanks for the help. Uh, another benefit for them, uh, basically giving you divine power, is uh, it can increase the power of your uh, Mystic Branch spells. Like what you can do is you can. Uh, do sort of like bigger symbols for bigger effects, but only if you've got enough. I don't know if I have enough worshippers right now. I don't want to get close to that. Well, oh wait, I bombed that one out. That's right. Never did take everything from, so. It's got a lot of resources, so I'll need to remember that at some point. But any spot around here should be good. I think it's probably far enough away. Okay, what I need to do is I need to dig down... Aim a dispenser. Whoa. Lag. Must be that, uh, that jungle. Okay. Well, anyhow. Hey, out of my way. Whoa. What the? Something tried trapping me? What? Where did that happen? 
Did I just step on gravel? Well, might as well just go around it anyhow. I've got plenty. Okay, redstone repeater. This ought to be close enough. Well, far enough away. Okay. Well, let me see here. I'll reposition some of this stuff, just in case. Extra belladonna seeds are nice, but not required. Let's see. What did the book say again? Got it on that page. Right up, left, left, down. Okay, so... Right up, left, left, down. Down. It even sort of looks like the top part, so I think they are all sort of designed to look that way. Hey, might as well do a little target practice. <laughs> ah, did I hit anything? Nah, just flying off in the background. That's right. Ah, it's sort of expensive. I mean, took a good chunk off. Right, up, left, left, down. Okay. And I could, I think I could fly while having this charge. So let's let's do this. Yep, miscast. Right, up, lift, lift, down. Yep, that's a hammerhead. Okay, get witched. Oh, come on, give it. Come on, hit, hit, hit. Did, is he immune? Nope. We need to hit him in the head. Oh, he dodged. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I just need to... I think he's under me. Yeah, he's sort of under me. Okay, come on, you... Can I not resize you? Uh... Uh, is, is, is it too much lag? Can you not shrink? Whoa, okay, that was total lag, miss. I am literally right next to him. That is not good. I think I need to aim... Uh, I'll, I'll aim at center of mass. Center of mass. Oh! It is happening. It's happening. Yeah, uh, he's red, but he's not shrunk. I did I shrink his butt? What happened? <laughs> uh maybe this won't. Is he even? Is he floating? Is is he floating even? Uh this this isn't working quite how I planned, but oh well. At least I have a uh, hammerhead dispenser. Yeah, that's right, buddy. It, you're not getting witched the way I want you to get witched, so I'm. I'm making sure I just smash you really hard. Is there any other creatures around here? Oh gosh. Uh, well, I need to. I don't want creepers blowing up my stuff. Thank you very much. It's just one of those things. It's like a constant in Minecraft. Is creepers trying to explode your stuff? I think I had enough space for all this. Nope. But I don't need the money that much, so yeah. I mean, I, I think I've got enough right about now. Mm-hmm. Experienced. Those don't stack. Well, that's an annoyance. <laughs> hmm. Okay then. Uh. What did I just get an experience catcher? Cause I, I know I got them from these guys before. Oh yeah, I've got like ten of them. Uh, I've got like eight bottles of enchanting, some creeper repellent, that could come in handy, attitude adjuster. Oh, I didn't even know they dropped that. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> it's a really big hammer. Oh gosh. Before I go off, just allow me to illustrate how huge this hammer is. I I I've got the wither hat on, and it still looks like it's bigger than it, uh... Wow, uh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, that was informative. I may have to knock a few more of those guys out, but I, I think for now I'll 
probably uh, sign out soon, but uh, I don't want to just leave myself here. Well, there's reasons why I have the uh, buttons on the TARDIS for just going places like my uh, little witchery tower. Uh, so uh, therefore, I'm going to uh, summon the TARDIS here, and remember that if I step out, I can just nail some hammerheads for a while. They drop good stuff. Okay, TARDIS, uh, take me home. Just just take me home. I, I, I need to be back. TARDIS? Oh! Whew, narrowly escaped getting hit by my own TARDIS. Well, that's an interesting adventure for a dimensional witch. Okay, so I I want to be very careful with what buttons I hit with these things, because some of this stuff is uh, volatile. Whew. Ah, well, I found out something interesting earlier on. Apparently, uh, the... Uh, Distribu- I, I probably should- wait, did I have a- no, I don't have an Arthana on that for distribution. I'm not sure if that helps or if it's just horizontal distribution range that it uh, can change, or if, uh, like, if the vertical is just always the way it is, because I had to line this up with that, and that's my portable altar. I don't have a portable altar as long as I've got that there. I've only got so much altar. Although I could get all the regular dragon eggs I want, I can just uh, do that any time. There's uh, ways to do that, Norspawn, uh, but uh, that is a very special one. Uh, this isn't a regular dragon egg, that's that infinity egg I may have discussed before. It's one of those things you're not normally supposed to have in survival, but again, crazy Pac-Man. So, yeah, that happens. And it gives it ridiculous power. Like, I could pay for pretty much anything I wanted to with this altar. It is that crazy. So that that's why they call it the infinity egg. Uh, because of that, I think I'm going to uh, sign out in a... Nice, easy spot, preferably near my... You know, this is going to be a really cool picture, now that I think about it. Okay, line myself up with them. Yep, wrong way, wrong way. There we go. Oh. Oh, it's Stan Lee! <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Y you convinced me, you convinced me, man. It, just stop walking. Screenshot! Oh, I had to do that. I just had to do that. That will probably wind up being my thumbnail for this specific episode. That that, that was just too perfect. <laughs> it's like some sort of crazy, like, multi-comic uh, type Avengers right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. I did not see that coming, but it, it just it just happened. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it off at that. So, this is Glitch Reaper, and I'll be signing off for now. Uh, goodbye, and good comics to you, I guess.